continuing our statistical treatment of data by looking at something called the Q-test. The Q-test is a way to look at bad data and see if you've actually collected a bad data point. And we use this whenever we have some point in suspect that we're a little bit unsure about. There's actually a way to statistically treat that. Okay, the Q-test. So let's take a look at it. What you're going to do is look at the Q of your data versus the critical or uh, tabulated value of Q and compare them. And if you find that Q data is smaller than Q critical, you're going to keep that data point. That's good. Okay, It's a keepable data point. If Q data is greater than Q critical, you're going to discard that data point. It is no good. So, uh, what's Q critical and what's Q data? Q critical is a tabulated value. Okay, you see this table here. If you don't have it, you might want to write it down. This is N, the number of trials in Q critical. 0 0.94, 0 0.76, 0 0.64, 0 0.56. What's Q data? Well, that's the Q that you get from your actual data. What you're going to do is Q data is the gap over the range. It's the absolute value of the gap over the absolute value of the range. What does that mean? Well, the gap is your suspect point subtracted from the closest point to it. And then the range is your suspect point, that's the point you're unsure about, subtracted from the farthest point to it. Okay? So let's look at actual data and you're going to see uh, it's actually a pretty easy test to do. We're looking at this data and then we see the 5.37, the 5.82, a 97.5, and then a 5.42. Now wait a minute, that one data point there, the third one, looks unusual. I suspect it to be poor data. Something happened when I was collecting the data that just wasn't right. Probably my lab partner. Couldn't be me, right? So, what do we do? Let's do a little calculation and do the Q test, and then we'll know for sure. Well, let's find Q data first. Okay? Q data is going to be on the top, the suspect point, 97.5 minus the point that is closest to it in value, 5.82. Absolute value of that, that's the gap. Then the range is going to be the absolute value of the suspect point, 97.5, minus the furthest point from it. In this case, it's 5.37. Absolute value. Now you're going to find that value numerically. I did that, and I got 0.995. Okay, now I'm going to compare that with Q critical. Remember, Q critical comes from a tab, uh, table where these values are tabulated in it. I take a look at my data points, there's four total. That means my Q critical is 0 0.76. Now I see which one is bigger. In this case, Q data, my data is bigger than the tabulated value. When Q data is bigger than the tabular or critical value, you throw it out. That is bad data. So it is no good, garbage. I'm going to line that out um, because the Q test tells you that your hunches were right, your suspect point is actually not a quality point.